Hey guys, so today we're going to be making the twisty witsy bracelet. I'm going to start with what you need. You're going to need a triple column loom, a little C clip like this, a crochet hook, and three colors. Mine are going to be pink, white, and black. So let's begin. So what we're going to do first is take one of our colors and we're going to um, look at where our pin is pointing forward. Then we are going to make a diamond on these pins. So it looks like that. Then we are going to take another one of our colors and go from all the way to the left forward all the way to the left and forward all the way left and forward and we're going to do that the entire way. So as you can see, I have done that on my left side. I have gone all the way forward. The next thing that I want to do is take the same color, and on the side all the way at the right, I did the same exact thing that I did on the left. So what I did was take a rubber band and go from all the way to the right to the one forward, and then the one forward and forward till I got to the end. And I did the same exact thing on the middle row, except I started from the second peg, not the first one, the second one, and went forward and forward and forward. And you just and I just did that the entire way, like that. So this is how it should look. And also keep in mind we only have one diamond right here. So now what we're going to be doing is using the same color that we used before to make our diamonds. And we're going to be doing the same thing except making diamonds going all the way up. And we're still on the side with the arrow pointing forward. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our diamond and make a diamond that goes from the second pin, comes out to the second pin on the left and right, and then we're going to pull it up forward so it forms a diamond like that. Then we're going to make another one going from all the way to the left, the third peg in the middle row, and the third peg in the right row, and then pulling it forward. We're going to be doing that the rest of the way. I want to stop here at the end, where we see that we have our diamond here. However, I didn't put on these last two pegs because you can't make a diamond with only three points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rubber band and the last one is only going to be a triangle. So keep that in mind, it's only going to be a triangle and that's how it looks. So I'm going to show you from the bottom to the top. And that's how it looks. So I'm going to start by f looking at where my arrow is and flipping it over to the other side. Then what I'm going to do is push aside on the way left side, push aside my black one and grab my white one and put it forward. Then go all the way to the right and push aside my white one and put it on the one that's in front of it. It may be a little tricky so you just want to push it down. Then what we're going to do is here grab our pink one and put it in the front. like that. Then what we're going to do is right here we have a white one and a black one. We're going to grab our black one and put it on the middle peg. Then right here we're going to also grab the black one and put it on our middle pin. Now the next step is basically the same so on our peg all the way, it's our second peg on the left side, we're going to grab our white and put it on the one in front, and then on the one all the way at the right, grab our white one and put it on the one in front. Then what we're going to do is go all the way reaching in, all the way, pushing all that to the side and getting the one that's all the way at the bottom, which should be your middle color, in my case the pink one, and pulling that forward. 
Then, we're going to come here and grab our black one, not our white one, and putting it to the middle. And right here, coming and grabbing our black one and putting it to the middle. Once again, I'm going to show that process. At the left, I'm sorry, we're starting here. At the left, pull forward. At the right, go forward. Then at the middle here, all the way push down everything at the bottom. Grab the pink, pull forward. Grab the black in the middle. Grab the black in the middle. And then you're going to do that the entire way. So when we reach the end here, what we're going to do is grab our black one right here in the middle and pull that to the front like this, a lot of tension there. And then we're also going to take the one at all the way at the left, take it and pull it to the middle and the one over here all the way at the right and take it and pull it at the middle. Now what we're going to do is take our hook and put it through the middle, let it hang out, and take another rubber band and pull it through. Then we're just going to hang on and all we're going to do is pull it off and make an extension.